Hello my loves, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really well. Today I'm bringing you a healthy meal prep video. It's predominantly gonna be one pan other than a few little trips to the microwave. Super easy and actually affordable. I will break down what each meal costs in this video and also include the macros and what ingredients you will need. What I want to show you is how uncomplicated meal prepping can be. It doesn't need to be hours of slaving in the kitchen on a Sunday night and you just actually not really enjoy the process. This will take about an hour and it's also going to help you achieve your nutrition goals. I know in January it can feel like a bit of a frenzy because Christmas has been and gone and you're thinking, oh my God, I need to shift some of that Christmas weight or I need to put some muscle back on. And I just want to remind you that the best way to do this is in a realistic and unrestrictive way when it comes to both your workouts and your nutrition. I think anything that is just a fad diet or promising you results in two weeks time isn't going to be something that you can maintain or realistically achieve I would always recommend just setting slightly longer term goals and breaking the big goal into smaller achievable steps these meals are going to be preferable for four days so they include breakfast lunch and dinner of course just before we jump straight into it if you could hit this video with a like I would appreciate it so much it helps and supports my channel and we will jump into the first recipe <laughs> Okay, so for this first recipe, which is a turkey taco bowl, these are the ingredients you are going to need. So I've just laid it out so you can see. I'll also pop a list in the description so you don't have to keep going back and forth. So you will need a pack of extra lean turkey mints. I get either the 2% or 5%, sorry, 7% fat one, some mixed bell peppers, some extra virgin olive oil, some limes, some cheddar cheese, some flat leaf parsley or coriander, chopped tomatoes, some sweet corn and water, black beans, and Cajun seasoning. And one large onion. Would prefer red onion, but white is also fine. So you want to take your frying pan, pop that on a medium heat, and we're taking two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I've got these new spoons, and they're only from Home Sense. I'm gonna to have to go back and get more because I really like them, but I just don't think I picked up enough. So whilst we're waiting for that to heat, we're going to chop up our bell peppers and onion. And as well, if you're tracking this as well, make sure you've got your scales at the ready. And then we're just gonna slice our peppers up. Ooh, child, things are gonna get. Just peel our onion. Sometimes these come off so easy. And then other days, they're just like stuck flipping thing. I remember the days guys when I used to basically cut an onion with the flipping outside skin on but you know we all start somewhere so just chop these up into slices as well. Oh my god I give myself about five seconds before my eyes start streaming. Slide these in to here and then once these are softened just pop them in a bowl we just forget that I was using a baking spoon a second ago instead of my wooden spoon. For some reason, I think because I have this on display up there, I'd just forgotten about this one. And I was thinking, I remember buying a wooden spoon the other day and it was tucked away back there. We want to take our lean turkey mints. Always oh, remember to remove this. Reminds me of like a, a wet wipe or something. <laughs> and then just break this, the turkey up with your spoon. Yeah, you definitely need a wooden spoon for this part. Don't be using your baking spatula. Ooh, child, things are gonna get we are going to take our Cajun seasoning. Cajun seasoning. You could actually also use taco seasoning, but I flipping love Cajun seasoning. This is a bit salty as well, so I wouldn't add too much salt to this one. So a nice heat tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. Can we take a minute for my new little pots? I spent my Saturday night filling up seasoning pots, and I just thought, oh my gosh, what has my life? come to but that's so satisfying I've got a little drawer might give you a sneak peek just make sure this is well coated I think it needs a bit more so about one and a half occasion you can also do this in the air fryer it works just the same like same steps my air fryer has got me in an absolute chokehold let me know if you'd like to see some air fryer recipes too and then next take your chopped tomatoes and pour that in once your turkey is nice and browned and then just allow this to simmer for about five minutes 
So you'll need two packs of rice. I'm using steamed basmati rice. It kind of reminds me of jasmine sticky rice. So I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave for two minutes and then I'll just divide these between four bowls. Okay, next step is to drain and wash the black beans in water. So I'm just taking my sieve type thing. Pour these into here. And then the same for the sweet corn. This is actually so satisfying. I love washing things like my fruit as well. So now that is all cooked through, the next step is to take your storage containers. I actually got these from Morrison's yesterday. They just come in a four pack and I got three sets. The best part of these as well is that you can obviously put them in the freezer too and this sort of meal prep you can have in the freezer and then just microwave or pop in the oven when you want to have them. Now for the best part, I love doing this. So making them all cute and aesthetic. So I'm just taking the microwaved basmati rice and then just taking half of this. This saves you having to obviously like weigh absolutely everything out because you can just quite easily do half of the rice and then just check the measurement on the rice packet so you can easily track your macros. Spread that on the bottom. And then take your turkey and we're just going to divide this across the four. Oh, this smells so nice. But it's basically like a tilly, I was going to say tilly, turkey con carne. I absolutely love chili con carne. I feel like that is my favourite winter go-to. And I just love turkey mince. I feel like you can make it so flavourful. It's super lean, high protein and high volume too. Little hack, just to mention, with your scales. So rather than say measuring, so like putting each container onto your scales, you can actually put, say your sweet corn on your scales and then as you're taking stuff out, calculate the measurement that way, if that makes sense. Next up is sweet corn. So about two tablespoons in each, which is about 30 grams. And then next up is our black beans. I've just divided them across the four bowls. Mixed peppers and onions. I'm just gonna slice my la lime, I'm gonna call it a lemon, just into four little pieces. And also just uh, chop some coriander up. These little touches I think really go a long way. I haven't got a block of cheese, so I'm just gonna use these slices and kind of grate them up that way. One thing this year I actually really want to do is to cook more with natural, Americans say herbs, don't they? But natural herbs. So take some of these leaves. So I'm gonna take this mature 30% light cheese and just break this up. Pop the cheese in there. And then just a little bit of coriander on top. Ta-da! So here is the turkey bowl. How good does this look? I'm loving how colourful it is. I feel like I am so here for colourful rainbow bowls this year. It's giving nourish bowl and packed with flavour, high in protein, balance. This is a sort of meal that is going to keep you full for hours and also just be actually satisfying. Healthy food really doesn't need to be plain and unseasoned. So our next recipe is this honey garlic chicken sticky meal prep. This is one of my all time favourites. You could have this for your dinner or also as a lunch option and really quick and easy to make. Like I say, mainly one pound other than microwaving our steamed rice. For this recipe, we are going to need four chicken breasts, some flour, you could also use cornstarch, some extra virgin olive oil, sriracha, chili sauce, some honey, one large egg, garlic, spring onions or green onions, two packs of rice. I'm using the steamed basmati rice again, some broccoli and then some lime. Okay, so you want to take your four chicken breasts and a little hack for you if you want to just save time, not have to get another chopping board out, use your big kitchen scissors to chop your chicken into chunks. And if you're a busy gal, then honestly, this is a lifesaver. Anything to save a bit of time. So four chicken breasts, choppity chopped. Then we're gonna take two bowls. So one for the egg and one for the flour. So in the bigger bowl, I'm just gonna measure out two tablespoons of flour. That 
is about 45 grams of flour. I've put my flour in this little container as well. And how much easier, because I feel like flour is super messy, isn't it, when you just have it in a cupboard in a packet. Beat one large egg. I feel like that was quite a small egg. One more if you've got the small eggs as well. Put that in here. And then just beat that. And add a little bit of salt and pepper to the flour. Next, we are gonna dip our chicken into our egg wash. Once your chicken is coated, I'm going to take two tablespoons of our extra virgin olive oil. I don't know what I just did to my pan. I don't know how many times I've used this induction hob. It's really different, but I feel like I've not properly learned how to use it yet. So yeah, we're working with it. So we want to add our chicken to our pan. We don't want it to be kind of overlapping. So the chicken takes about 10 to 15 minutes and I just do this part in two batches to cook the chicken in two bits just as it won't fit all in one frying pan. Whilst I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna start with the chicken sauce. So you just want to grab another little glass bowl and then for our sauce i'm taking my little pestle and mortar and i've got these kind of they're mini garlic cloves so i've got six little mini ones or you could use two or three sort of bigger ones and then i'm just going to grind i didn't know i had one of these basically i've recently moved so half my stuff is still in boxes and storage that i need to go and get a lot of my cooking stuff mince these I go through minces, like I think I'm a bit aggressive with them. Right, that is going to be very garlicky. I'm not tracking the garlic by the way, I just was going to do the honey first. Taking two tablespoons of honey. Oh, spoon that everywhere. Oh my god, oh no, it is off. Two tablespoons of sriracha hot sauce. You can actually get like a non-spicy version of this. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere. You don't like too much spice. You could just not pour quite as much and mix that around. And then a little drop of olive oil, just like a teaspoon's worth. And a tablespoon of water. And then now this chicken is all nice and brown, I'm gonna pour our sauce over. Oh, that smells so nice. It's like garlicky, honey. Mm -mm -mm. And then once that's all coated, I'm just gonna pop this aside for a second. So pour you in here. And then take our broccoli. Um, we're just gonna cut these and then slice them into little smaller chunks and pop them in the frying pan. You don't actually need to wash the frying pan out. Instead of adding more oil, you can just use the honey and juices from the chicken. Just gonna fry off our broccoli and just add a little drop of oil. And then whilst we're waiting for our broccoli to stir fry, just gonna pop the basmati rices in the microwave for two minutes. Now to plate them up, same as the turkey bowl, half basmati rice in each. And then here's the chicken. So I'm just gonna divide that again by the four. I can't tell you how nice this smells. I wish you could smell this through the screen. It's really like garlicky, smells sweet. And then the broccoli. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of spring onions on the top. And just also a little lime in there. I'm trying to make sure, you know when you have stuff in the fridge, like lemons, limes, rather than just letting them rot in the corner, just make use of them if you've got them in. So that is all of those. They look really nice actually. So this is the honey chicken. Oh my gosh, this has made my whole kitchen and probably house at this point just smell unreal. I can't wait to try these in a second. I have kind of nibbled at a few bits and could confirm it is so good. I didn't have any sesame seeds, so I've just used a little bit of mixed seeds and then some spring onions. Okay, so our final meal prep recipe is going to be chocolate protein oats. These are perfect for on the go and literally take 
all of five minutes. So for this recipe, we are going to need some oats. The amount of jars of oats I go through is an absolute madness. Then some cinnamon. I've got some chocolate pure whey isolate, some dark chocolate because oh, I just love, I just love chocolate so much. Some cocoa powder. This is just Belden chocolate one. And then some milk. Grab all our containers out. And then I'm just going to measure my oats by popping them on the scales. So 45 grams of big chunky rolled oats. I prefer these because I feel like they kind of expand more than the little mini oats, especially when you're doing overnight oats. I just think these are thicker. About 150 grams of milk in each. And then 25 grams of chocolate protein powder. I'll leave my bulk discount links in the description below as well. And then a teaspoon of hot chocolate powder. You could use cacao powder if you prefer like a richer taste. This is more of like a milk chocolatey kind of choc powder. So a teaspoon in each of those. And then a sprinkle of cinnamon. And then just a few little chunks of dark chocolate. And then just mix these around. I don't think I'll ever get bored of chocolate protein oats. I was gonna make these into my baked oats meal prep recipe, but I ran out of eggs. I feel like the amount of eggs I go through, I would love to have some chickens maybe one day actually. I'd also quite like to grow my own veg. I just don't know if, I think it'd be quite a lot of hard work, wouldn't it, to be fair. Mm -mm -mm. Delish. With overnight oats as well, you can heat these up, you can have them cold. They're even nice as a snack. Since we moved into this house, you know, like, I feel like wherever you live, you have like a, a signature, or I always seem to have a signature dessert or something, and I'm wondering what this house is gonna have. I had to use whole milk for these last two. You can actually really tell a difference in the color. I think the red milk skimmed is more water-based than obviously whole full fat milk. So here's the overnight chocolate oats, and then I've just sprinkled a little bit of cinnamon on top. Obviously these expand and I pop them into the fridge. If you do make these, make sure you leave them about three, two or three hours before you eat them um, so that they've expanded and whatnot. I'll usually add fruit, but I do find it can go a bit weird and soggy if you leave it in there. So I'll just add fruit onto say the morning of. So here is the finished meal prep. You could just swap if you prefer the chicken for lunch or the taco bowl for dinner. These are also freezable and then you can just reheat them in the oven or in the microwave. If your goal is weight loss at the moment, I couldn't recommend meal prepping. Meal prepping doesn't need to be, you know, unflavorful, which I think is a really common misconception with healthy eating. All of these are so tasty and perfect to take with you to work, to pop in the fridge at work or also just to have in the fridge at home if you've got super busy days and you want to achieve your goals you can also mix these up each week if you're not someone who likes to meal repeat I do prefer having like a few really nice tasty things that I can just kind of circulate because you kind of just go on autopilot and you get a lot quicker at making an actual recipe I've got a good few air fryer recipes that I just always go to without even really thinking especially when I'm busier I would love you to tag me in any of your recreations if you do make any of these and yeah I really hope this video has been useful let me know what you thought in the comments down below and if you could make sure you've liked this video and you're subscribed to my channel I would be so grateful and I can't wait to see you in the next video